What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a video on the EG4 solar hybrid heat pumps winter power consumption. Uh, I did that one in the summer, how low this thing can go, how much power you can run on, and a lot of people like that video. Somebody recently just asked me for it, and I was planning to do it. I was just waiting on a little bit cooler temperatures. As you can see, we've got a bit of snow here, but it has turned to rain already this morning. Uh, so I'm just going to be firing up the heat pump here in about a minute. I'll just show you the indoor and outdoor temperature before we do that. So right now we're sitting at 34 degrees outside. The nest thinks it's still snowing. And we are sitting at 68 inside. I'm the only one home, so I've turned it down to 67 degrees for a little bit this morning. But we'll come over here. I'm going to fire up the heat pump. And I'll show you kind of what it uses for the first 15, 20 minutes of the run cycle. After the room starts to come up to temperature, obviously it does ramp down a little bit. So we'll run through that and I'll show you all the numbers. Okay, so after a couple minutes of runtime, we have leveled off here. We're sitting at 820 watts from the grid and 2 watts from the solar input. So, as you can see, pretty terrible day for solar conditions, but this works out okay for the purpose of this video, just showing how much grid power you're going to be pulling if you are without sun. So, uh, yeah, at 800 watts, that's running the compressor at a pretty high stage. This thing will go up to about 1300, 1400. So, uh, you can see we have about a three degree split there indoor to uh, demanded temperature. So the compressor is running at a decent stage. I'll pop the door open here so you can hear it. Not sure how well you can hear it, but um, on a rainy day like today, I would expect this thing to want to defrost pretty frequently. Very high outdoor uh, humidity does play a big part in the dehumidification, or sorry, the defrost um, frequency. So we'll keep an eye on it for the next little bit. I'll show you how long it takes until the power starts to ramp down and we'll go from there. All right guys, we've been running for about six minutes now and you can see our AC input is starting to ramp down a little bit. Our uh, current indoor temperature has risen a couple degrees already. And that's mostly due to the fact that this is just sort of in the corner of my kitchen. It does get warm over here pretty quick. That's why I generally run the fan speed on medium. Uh, instead of auto, I put it on the mid fan speed just to keep the air moving uh, a little bit better, keep the distribution of the air up a little bit higher. So it tends to get the air kind of mixed throughout the main floor a little better than just leaving it on the low fan speed. So we'll continue to let it run. I will show you the electrical history data here for the month. So for the past couple days, um, running on the schedule, I'm currently doing, I'm using anywhere from six to about 9.5 kilowatt hours per day, which is pretty good. That's only about a dollar a day if I use my sort of average uh, utility rate of 12 cents per kilowatt hour. I am on time of use, meaning overnight we pay 7 cents a kilowatt hour, kind of midday we do 12 cents per kilowatt hour, and then the peak times, sort of 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. to 7 p.m., we pay 18 cents per kilowatt hour. So during those times, I do avoid running the heat pump. I primarily run the gas furnace. And it's also nice to run the gas furnace overnight when all the bedroom doors are shut, uh, just here and there, just to touch up the heat in every room because it does start to get a little bit cold. All right, guys, we are at the 15 minute mark and we have ramped down to 677 watts from grid. It's raining way harder than I thought it was, so I'm going back inside. All right, guys, like I said, right around the 15 minute mark and we've dropped down to 660. Uh, indoor temperature is still holding at 73 and we're kicking out about 110 degrees from the supply air. So it's doing pretty good right around the freezing mark. Uh, like I said, a little bit above freezing, obviously, with the rain. But on a day like today, that is uh, going to ramp down a little more still. If it was colder out, it would probably hold right around 660 um, on a day where it's a little bit below zero, it tends to hover around the 600 watt mark and just run there all day long. A day like today, I think it will continue to drop probably into the 400s eventually, but we'll keep an eye on it. All right, we are about 40 minutes in and we have dropped down into the 400s. We're sitting at 480 watts from grid. Current temperature is 75 degrees according to the head unit on the EG4. So. As you can see on a day like today, temperatures aren't too bad. It makes pretty light work of heating the house. If we go over here, oh, we switched to rain and 35 now. 
and we have come up a degree already since starting the heat pump so that does a pretty good job you know for a little 12,000 BTU heat pump I really can't complain it's coming up on the one year anniversary of this thing and I've been totally satisfied with it so far uh, I'll show you my usage for the month we'll do last month here because we're only a couple days into January so let's pop back one and there we go that is for uh, December pretty similar temperatures you can see we peaked around seven seven kilowatt hours per day there in December um, I have been running it a little more for January but there's my usage for the year December we did a total of 132 kilowatt hours from grid and 12.5 from solar and into the new year we're sitting at 63 kilowatt hours from grid and three from solar so pretty bad uh, conditions for solar as of lately this is pretty much what we're dealing with on a daily basis so um yeah the solar side of things not real not real handy at the moment but it is still cheaper for me than running natural gas all the time um i just got my meter read the other day i saw the meter guy go by he went and scanned the meter so i should have an updated number for you here pretty shortly as far as what we use for gas for the last 30 days which i'm looking forward to it should be an actual red amount not an estimated bill so we should finally see a big credit on the bill fingers crossed you never know with enbridge but yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.